welcome to Field of Fork. I'm Abby J. And it's winter time. It's January. And this is a time of year we all like to make resolutions. It's new beginnings. It's when we've gotten through those holidays where we've eaten so much, we, we feel guilty. But I'm going to share with you right now some of the things that are in season that you can incorporate in your diet. And I've gone to Ingalls and I've picked up some citrus. Citrus is in season right now. And we've got some grapefruit, some navel oranges, tangerines. What I really like to do, I'm a big juicer. So once uh, you juice these um these fruits, um, I'm telling you, you'll want to incorporate it every time because it just tastes so much better. And they're packed with vitamin A and K and uh, even the lemons and limes. The, the limes have a lot of calcium. And, uh, you know, I use lemons and limes in a lot of my uh, recipes. So this is what's in season, and you can pick this up at Ingalls. Also, you know, with the green leafy vegetables, anything that's green, you know, that means healthy to me. So I'm going to share with you some of the things. This is kale. Um, they do a great job cleaning all of the uh, leafy greens at Ingalls. So you can pick up kale, turnip greens, broccoli. You've got the cabbages. And cabbages are a part of the collard family. And we're going to come back later on the show to show you how to prepare the collards, how to clean those. And again, this is some of the things and also carrots and acorn squash that you can still pick up at your local Ingalls markets. And they do a fantastic job with the variety and it's like I said it's something that I'm going to incorporate in my diet and maybe I'll stick to it but anyway we're gonna be right back and introduce our Ingalls celebrity chef Deborah Adams and she's got a wonderful soup that's gonna warm you up uh, this winter and we'll be right back welcome back to Field of Fork and we have Deborah Adams our <laughs> celebrity Ingalls table chef welcome to the show thank you yeah. It's great to be here. Always great to see you. Especially a new start for a new year. Yeah, right. And you're <laughs> a French trained, and I, I can't am. wait to yes. see what we have going on here. And as you said, it is a new start. So mm -hmm. we, we are doing what today? Today we are going to make a vegetable soup Provencal. It's made a little differently than the usual vegetable soup in the U.S. We are going to use some leeks. And we're going to use some saffron, which so, is not terribly ordinary. <laughs> so for you guys that don't know, uh, Provencal is French region, right? Yes, it is yeah. in the Pro in Provence, down in the south of France, where you have a lot of your beautiful riverside vineyards. I was there and, this summer. Oh, I was I'm there. Jealous, I yes, know. it was awesome. I can see why yes. you loved it over there. Yes, so uh, that's what we're going to start with. Uh, the usual onions. We're going to saute those in a little bit of olive You call oil. this a leek, right? That is a leek, and that mm -hmm. is that is the more unusual. It's not terribly unusual, but a lot of people don't use them as regularly as right. I like to. So we're going to put the onions in. I'm so glad you're doing a soup because um, it's winter time and it's so cold outside, and I know. Anytime I'm going to Ingalls, I find all the things that already chopped up even makes it real simple. That's and true. you can really do a lot of variations with this soup, right? You can, you certainly can. You can use a vegetable broth instead of a chicken broth to have it vegetarian. Right. Or you can add, say, if you don't particularly like carrots, you could actually put sweet potatoes in its place. So you can mix it up, what you have on hand. It makes it easy and it's gonna be healthy. It's all from scratch. Right. So yeah. that's that's what we're gonna start with. And, and you know, Deborah, good food uh, takes time. And you know, people just don't really have the time. They can make this ahead, right? That's true. You can make it ahead. It will, it'll stay fresh in your refrigerator for five days at least. That's or great. you can freeze it, and it mm -hmm. freezes quite well. That's so good. So that's, that's another thing. If yeah. you happen to have a bunch of fresh vegetables, you need to use them. Go ahead and make it now and eat it later. Right. Mm -hmm. Make your life easier. Prepare. Eat, you eat. know, <laughs> I, I see all these little containers, and I know I've been doing a lot of food organizing to make my life easier by prepping or, or having Ingalls prep for you to where you can just take it out and then use it. That is exactly true. And 
if you already have it prepped, that's what you're going to have. You're not going to order a takeout right. meal. Mm -hmm. That's not healthy. Exactly. If you have it ready, it's easy. So, uh, speaking of easy, I'm going to show the best way to cut this leek. Okay, let's see. We're going to take off this end, and we do not use the green part, so we're going to cut that. You're going to see a little indentation here, and that's where you need to be looking to cut it. And you want mostly white mm -hmm. and some of the light green. So we're just going to take that off. And then we're going to cut it in half. These are notorious for being dirty mm -hmm. vegetables. And they're in the onion family. So. They are. Yeah. So you're just going to run the water in there and be sure you get all the dirt out before you use that leek. And we're going to now add the leeks <laughs> to our pot. And I am using, there's about three leeks. That smells so good. And they do smell Fresh. Good. It smells like spring, you it know? Does. Leeks have always made me think of it has springtime. A, a light onion fragrance, but yet it's it sounds mm -hmm. it smells earthy and fresh. Right. So, so many ways to use them. Too. That's right. So we're gonna put those in there, give them a stir, and I'm going to add my salt and pepper there it is. right here. Now you just want these to get soft. It doesn't take long. And this is vegan, but if you wanted to, you could add meat and make it a little heartier mm -hmm. for winter time if you wanted it to be a little heavier meal. And I'll tell you what, I, I like to put ham in it. Absolutely, yeah. even the ham bone. <laughs> right. I mean, if you've got a, a chicken or a turkey bone left over from the holidays, and sometimes I keep mine in the freezer if I'm I not do, using it, I do because you have all this amount of food at the holidays, exactly. you can freeze that and just throw it in mm -hmm. the pot and it'll that, flavor it that's up. That's true. Okay, now these have softened up, so I'm going to add diced potatoes. I have peeled these and diced them, and there's probably about there's about four medium potatoes. And you add those. It's looking good. It is smelling mm -hmm. good too. Yeah. Now we're gonna add our carrots and I've used whole carrots that I've sliced up and they're just about the same size as the potatoes. Mm -hmm. And they'll all get done at the same time. Yeah, that have, makes it really bright right. dish yeah, here. it does. I'm gonna go ahead and cut your beans up for yes, you. Yes, Give me do. something to do here. You yeah. just want these cut in half, right? In half yeah. will be fine, or the big ones in thirds. There we go. Now we've got that in, we're gonna add two of our 32 ounce chicken stock. Okay. I love chicken stock, and you can even make your own, but I love the fact that you can get chicken or beef. It just depends on what the flavor you want true. it to be. Mm -hmm. I think the beef makes it a little bit more richer. It does, that's true. And you could use that just as well as chicken in this recipe. Right. Now that I've added the stock, I am going to add the saffron. And you can buy the saffron at Ingalls. It's in the specialty spice section. <laughs> and what does that taste like? Tell the audience a little bit about saffron it because is, they may not be familiar with it. It has a kind of a, I really can't describe the flavor of it, but it, it gives a depth to the soup. Exactly. It's, it's a whole. Like a nice with, the, it's like licorice. It, so, it, it is. So you're going to intensify with this uh, mm -hmm. spice. Uh, you're going to build that flavor. That's exactly right. So she's right. A layer, you know, adding and elevating flavor here with this. That's exactly right. And you're right, it's, it's, it is an anise flavor. Flavor, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just sprinkle this. I would say I'm using about a teaspoon. And it's going to give that broth a beautiful golden color, too. Oh, it is? Okay, mm -hmm. so it changes color a little it bit. It does. It, okay. gives it gives it a deeper color and a deeper flavor. Right, right. Okay, we are going to let these cook for about 20 minutes, and we'll be right back and finish it off. It's time to discover the convenience and time savings of contact-free pickup with Ingalls Curbside. Just visit shop.ingalls-markets.com or download the app. 
and your Ingalls personal shopper gets to work with specialized training on how to select the freshest items for a pre-scheduled pickup. They'll even text you with updates. You pull up to a designated space and your personal shopper delivers your items right to your vehicle. Fresh, fast, and affordable. It's all in the bag. Ingalls, low prices, love the savings. We're back and it smells so delicious. It does. I've added both uh, cartons of the broth. It's been cooking for about 20 minutes. So we're gonna add your green beans to it. Okay. And I'm just gonna slide those in there. And we're gonna let those simmer for about 10 minutes. They use a lot of beans in France, don't they? They do. Yeah. Yes. When I was in France, many, I... Many varieties. Yeah. Okay. True. So there we have our soup. And we're going to serve that along with some French bread. And I'm going to top it off for you. And I'm going to ladle this soup into our pretty little serving dish. And that's so bright and... and Isn't it pretty? Yes, it is. This, it's going to be even more pretty. I'm going to top this with a little bit of basil pesto. All right. Oh, and that that gets down into that broth, and there's another flavor for you. Oh, that, I love pesto. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, I do. I do. I even use it all through all my dishes throughout the winter time. I yeah. love it. It's great. And a little so. shredded Parmesan, and. The French always need the bread. So. Wow, look at that. So here we go. There's our beautiful winter vegetable soup. It's like hugs in a bowl to <laughs> all of you, yes, and it's going to make a great, wonderful comfort food yes, for, for the winter time. And Deborah, thank you so much for coming thank on the show and sharing this me. delicious recipe. And you guys, you can find this at angles-markets.com. The recipe is online is. under Deborah Adams. And I hope you all enjoy it. And again, thank you. At Ingalls, we're proud to work with hundreds of local farms and businesses in the communities we call home. Not only does it ensure that you get top quality, fresh items for your family table, it's a way for us to support the amazing individuals who pour their heart and soul into delivering the very best they can do. Quality, freshness, community, it's all in the bag. Ingalls, low prices, love the savings. Welcome back to Field of Fork, and I have my special guest, Kathy Nicholson from 99.3 WCON here to talk about her health journey. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Abby. And um, on behalf of my country and folks that uh, listen to our station, thank you so much. And Abby, thanks for the opportunity to come in this brand new year and talk about health. It's so important. It really, you look great. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've dropped about 50 pounds on this journey and I'm beginning to understand the importance of nutrition and nutrition based on my age and my sex. And there's so much that goes into it, as you very well know, but as we start going past that midpoint in our lives, our nutritional needs change, and many times our diets don't, and that's when well, a lot of trouble 25 comes 25 pounds for me, so, and you gotta incorporate the right kinds of food, exercise, and portion amount. I think that's the three key things, and you gotta stick with it, and you can't cheat all the time or you're just defeating yourself, right? That's right. You do have to have an opportunity to allow yourself to, you know, splurge here and there. But if it's a daily celebration, the holidays are going to catch up with you. So that with was that probably <laughs> bad to say right after the holidays. With, but yeah. yeah, we've got some soul food. They call this Southern mm. Cuisine, mm -hmm. which is collards. Anything green that you go into Ingalls and see that produce section, you're going to find collards, you're going to find kale, you're going to find all these wonderful things, but a lot of folks, they don't know how to do it or how to use them in recipes or even how to clean them. So that's what we're going to start with, right. Kathy. We'll jump right into this. I've already cleaned these. You want to get them from the grocery store and take them and wash them. I always wash them twice, and I generally do it with some vinegar. 
You can do vinegar, a little bit of uh, baking soda, but you want to, you know, wash them in that, then rinse them in cold water and do that again. And the way I've done this, I've gone ahead, Kathy, okay. and we've already gone ahead and took the stem, and okay. I'm going to show you how it's got to look kind of like this. Mm -hmm. um, so you take, you're going to hit a lot of bitterness if you don't get rid of that stem. Well, that, and you, you just want to, I take a knife, and I just go like this, mm -hmm. and there you have it. Or you could just, you know, tear you it, peel it, peel it mm -hmm. like this. But I'll tell you, the stems, they are good for soup stock. Mm -hmm. So you don't oh, really yeah, want to... a lot of flavor in there. Yeah, you don't want to throw these away. And then you, you've got your collards here. Then you've got your kale. Now, kale is a little bit more bitter, and it's got the... This is the curly kale, mm -hmm. you see? And it, you do it the same way. You will do it the same way. You just take it like this, and I use a knife because I can just get right get down to, to it, it, and then that's it. Very little and, waste. Right, right. So what I've done, Kathy, to make things easier for us on the show today, I've gone ahead and I've prepared some. And what you do, you can do it two ways. You can do a Brazilian type stir fry, and that's probably what a lot of the young people do. They want to roll these up like this. After, yes. after you do this, this is a short and easy way of doing collards. You just roll them up like this, and you'll 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 cut them like mm -hmm. in little ribbons, about a half an inch here. And when you get these like this, you'll just take them. Put them in this, and then you want a cast iron pan, and you'll cut mm -hmm. your onions up, and you'll put some. I always use my hot sauce in, in this, so it gives oh, it some yes. more flavor, elevate mm -hmm. that flavor, mm -hmm. and some garlic, and you'll just saute them, and that's your side dish. But so, the, do you use a fat at all? Do you use an olive oil or anything? You can. You can. You can. Yeah, you've got to saute with them sauce, with it. Yeah, you know? the, you've got to saute with like a. A tablespoon of olive oil mm -hmm. and then uh, you'll you'll make sure that's caramelized and then uh, throw this in and it takes about five or ten minutes to get the side dish that's an easy way to do it but as a southerner I think that I like the old way because you get to do it the same way but these collards cook for about two hours mm -hmm. and I put, I add bacon to mine oh yes Bacon is a must. Uh, yes, and it's a soul food. Uh, it goes way, way back, and, and this is what is nutritional and good for you. Vitamin A, K, and even with a lot of K, that's going to help prevent you know, osteoporosis and things like that. So there's a lot of health benefits when you eat well, well as you know, know. You were talking about how you saute them. And I said olive oil because you want to look at some of those really good fats. The older we get, we you know we tend to want to shy away and go fat free. Well, that's not necessarily a good thing. So add some good fats to your cooking, and you'll see uh, continued heart health. And it takes a little time. You know, good food takes oh, time. Oh, it smells so good though. Oh my! You see the? I just want to jump in there. <laughs> exactly, exactly, and. Um, mm. And the best part about this, watch this. I'm going to take um, some hot sauce, mm -hmm. and this gives it just oh, that yes. added flavor that mm -hmm. I was talking about. And then, Boy, if we had some cornbread, that would be great. I have some. What <laughs> you the, don't say? Yes, I do. Watch Let me the, grab this. Oh my God, this is gonna be so good. Uh, it would not be right without the cornbread. Oh, a pawn of cornbread, which I hear in the sale. Is that it? I, I've, I've heard that before. But look, All right. there you have your cornbread, your greens, and you know, this makes a great side dish with fried chicken. This is what they used to serve mm -hmm. oh, and yes. eat this with, with fried chicken, pork, ribs. I mean, you, you're in the South when you get homemade collards mm -hmm. that are slow cooked with the fat and the bacon, and you can use ham hocks. You yes. can also use a turkey. Fat back. Yeah, you know, like I said, if you've got things left over from the holidays, like a ham bone or anything like that, you can just freeze it and then use it for your collards. A little bit of black-eyed peas, and we're we're going to see all kind of prosperity in the new year. Yeah, well, that's what this is. <laughs> green, the greens, greens mean prosperity. That's right. And we all... 
need to live better, feel better, and that's what the new year's about. It's, it's a start of a new beginning, and I'm just so happy to hear your story. And from last year, you look amazing. Thank you. You know, the scriptures say that he wishes that we would be prosperous and in good health. He added this even as your soul prospers. So all this good food, it's gonna prosper us externally, physically, but always remember to add that ingredient to you spiritually, so that emotionally and spiritually you have well-being. And then you're this the complete package, like Abby J. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate that. And it's a lot of work and it's a lot of time that you work on yourself and, and you don't give up and, mm -hmm. and, and you have to have that passion for what you love to do to do well. And I tell all the entrepreneurs I know, just stick with it you know that's right gotta, and Every that's day. like with a diet or anything mm -hmm. you do you've got to have the tenacity to really stick uh to what you're doing and love what you're doing love right. is the main thing love and passion for what you do that's right life is all about passion following your passions and making sure they're healthy <laughs> Exactly. And and you know what? If you want to catch uh, Kathy uh, alive or on her radio on station, radio? you have a morning show, right? More, I'm on the radio for five hours a day, six days a week, Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So I'll come in and catch you while you're at the office and stay with you most of the day. And again, that's my country, 99.3 WCON. And you can listen and stream online. We have an app, of course. Uh -huh. uh, and you can find that at my country. 993.com. That is so good. Mm, Kathy, so glad you enjoyed that and so many other recipes because the Ingalls Table Magazine, we're transitioning right now into from winter to spring recipes. So make sure you get your free copy at your local Ingalls Deli. It will be out shortly in January. Yes. So we're so excited about that and all about the things that people are going to do, right? Right. This new year to get to feeling better, eating better, and living better, right? Eating better. Yes, absolutely. And make sure you check Kathy out on uh, 99.3 WCON. You're there every day, right? Monday, Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. So I come in right when you get to work and hang out with you for most of your work day, Monday through Saturday. MyCountry993.com. Again, thank you. You look amazing. Thank you. And it's time to eat, folks. So we'll see you next time.